Space can be pretty wild, especially when it's populated by animals. Hey, yeah, well, this is Carver Met. This is a channel where we like to play solo games, we'll do some reviews. We have some guests on regularly to play multiplayer games and have some discussions. And today we're going to be playing Wild Space. This is a solo game. Uh, it's a French and English game. Uh, I believe the original design is in French by Joachim Tom. Uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. And in it, you have discovered a galaxy where there is advanced civilizations that are all animals inexplicably. There's monkeys and bears and lizards. So really it's a game where you are essentially um, placing out your little ships to colonize planets. You're building collections and sets of cards. It's very fast. It plays one to five players. And we're going to be doing the solo playthrough today. So I will play through a full game, put my review at the end. Uh, I will also kind of walk you through how the game works as I play it. So you will kind of learn how to play just by watching. And uh, then we will have a more deeper discussion at the end on uh, you know, what I like about the game, you know, why it is or isn't good, and uh, you know, just give my thoughts on that. So let's head down and begin. If I play here, I have to discard a card. I can play my robot. And when I play my robot, I can play another card. So I can play this squid guy here, or <laughs> squid guy's octopus. Uh, and since I have a purple, I get to draw two cards. We're gonna stack them up so I can see how many of each set I have. And let's see, let's draw this one. And I've got some science arrays, so let's draw this one as well. Okay, and now the AI is gonna go. Let's see, let's put him here. So he's going to discard this card. And then he's gonna do two cards here. So one, two, and then that's going to fill. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, let's play over here. Play one of these science discovery card things. Project cards, I don't know what they are. Uh, he's also a squid, and I get to draw a card. So let's draw this robot. Okay, and then the AI is going to... So play some new one. So he's going to draw two cards. One, two. He's going to wipe a card. All right. Let's see here. I could really use some more cards. I think. Uh, oh yeah, now that I have three, that's flipped over. Um, I think I want to draw more cards though. So let's go up and draw three cards. Um, oh, okay, one, two, and more squids. I have a robot five. Maybe we'll get more squids. Oh, that would have been even better. Okay. Um, all right. So now he is going to go up. He's going to trash. Ooh, no. Oh, he's going to win them. Okay. All right. He's going to trash this card. And then this one's done. And he's going to see a new card. And then it's back to my turn. Let's see what kind of combos I can pull off here. Robots. Green. That's blue. All right, let's... Um, Land over here and play a robot. This lets me play 
another card. So I'm going to play this bear. And he lets me play a medallion card. Or a, um, I don't know what it's called, a veteran card. So I can play him. And he's a veteran, so he's going to let me move up there and draw a card. And we're going to draw this bear. Okay, and now the AI. Do I want to give him those? No, okay, let's have him discard these two. All right, it's back to my turn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can reveal this now. Oh, discard a metal. I'm not sure if I want to do that to play a card or just draw two cards. I do want to draw some more cards though. Is discard a card, play one of these things. Yeah, okay, let's uh, draw two cards. So I can draw one. And a bear. I do have some bears. We'll draw that one as well. Okay, <clears throat> AI time. He's going to go up here. He's going to pick up one. And this card is now gone. Oops, yeah, it's back to me. So there, those cards are going to come back and the AI is going to score them later. Which is going to be not fun, but that's fine. Okay, let's do... Let's sort of play a card. So here's a bear. It allows me to play a green card. And then here's another bear for green card, and he has a veteran token, which will allow me to draw two. And let's draw a science. And another bear, maybe? Or squid? I guess another squid. Okay. The AI is going to go and he's going to wipe. He's going to take all three of these. One, two, three. And then it's back to my turn. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine cards now, so let's reveal the last location. Uh, I have one each of those, so I could just go there and play a guy. It's probably the best. So play a guy. All right, Bear, I have a green, so I get to play another guy. There's an owl. I get to play as a um, contract thing. Um, and then I have a contract thing, and it lets me draw a card. So we'll draw that one. Okay. Um, the guy is going to come up here and go... One, two, and then that one. All right, it's my turn, so all my ships are out. I'm only gonna get three more turns to get left as I move things up. So let's go. Not any more cards. Yeah, but I also want to play cards. Okay, all right. Let's draw three um, for my master plan. Let's play purple, which I have. So one. Card and play card is always good. Uh, and three. Okay, I think those are going to go well together. Okay, AI is going to come up here. He's going to take two. One, two. He's got a massive pile going here. It's going to score against me. Uh, oh yeah, these are 
both done. And he gets his last card. All right, I have two turns left, so we're gonna play a guy. And let's see what I can chain here. So Al, I'm gonna play a purple. And actually, you know what? Let's do this a different way. Yeah, sure. Ally can play purple. Purple bear. I have blue, so I can play a robot. Robot. I have the move up here, so I can play another one. Uh, then we're going to have, let's see here, squid, and I'm going to discard a card to draw three cards, hopefully make my last turn really good. I'm kind of going for sets right here, it's like individual sets instead of multiple. Um, I'm going to spend a card to wipe the market, which you can do as many times as you have cards. So one, two, three. Now so that will give me two points. Uh, yeah, I could do that. So let's draw one. Oh, play science. That would be good. I'm not going to get up here. So, Rhino, the robots. I'm going to play one. Uh, I still nothing really worked out here. All right, three. Oh, that would have been good. Okay. So, uh, AI's turn. They're going to discard a card and then draw, gain a card. And then now it's back to me. So, what you can only do is play a card. And we're going to play a robot, which will allow me to play, I guess, a squid. Because that's more points than this. I don't have another blue to play. If I had drawn that one before, that would have been awesome. Because uh, that would have been an extra 10 points for both the extra bear and for moving up my medallion. But, okay. Uh, now up here, he's going to discard and he's going to gain this one and the next one. Okay, and that is it for the AI's turn. <clears throat> so now we're going to take a look again at all their cards. And we're going to see all the symbols at the tops of their cards. And that's essentially what they are scoring. So first, let's do, do our score over here. Uh, no points for here. Uh, three points for every one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's six points. Uh, and robots. That one is, that's if you have more than others. So do I have more robots? It is one, two. I do have more robots, so I have an extra five. So it's 11, uh, 14, 17. And, and then we go by sets. I don't have a complete set, um, but I do have multiples of other ones. So uh, 17, so uh, 17 plus 15 is 32. Um, and then 30 plus 20 is 52. So I got 52 points, which I hope is good. Uh, and then the AI is going to score based on their symbols at the top, which is what uh, I'm hoping to prevent them from getting. Um, so they're getting the collections of animals as well as the credits at the top. So let's see what animals they have. Got quite a lot of animals. I'm 
hoping I denied them good stuff, but it's not looking that way. Okay, lizard, one, two, three, four, five. And they don't have any squids. So they didn't like a complete set there. They got sold five, 10, 20. So 20 points. Uh, as well as credits from their robots. So 27. And then an extra four per robot. So 27 plus eight is 35. Uh, an extra two for these because they don't store them normally. Um, so 35, 41. And then they score two points for those, which they have none. Uh, and then each crew matching you know, occupation. Great. So I was able to look out and uh, beat them pretty, pretty handily there. Um, Again, largely by a little bit of luck and also controlling uh, kind of what cards they were able to draw. So uh, let's head back up. I mean, I should move this up more so you can get a good one last look at their card sets here. Okay, so let's head back up and get my review. Uh, it is a fairly simple game with a lot of really satisfying combos. Uh, the only actual Worker placement thing um, is kind, it's kind of let down. I have to say is like is really not you know particularly interesting. Uh, you know your work placements are always all either play a card or draw cards, uh, and there's some very slight variance into like you have to play one of those or you have to have these unless you play that like to, in order to play that one or play anything. And it's not. Especially interesting, um, you know, it is neat that they come out, uh, you know, the variety changes up slightly, but again, they don't really do anything really interesting other than some very slight restrictions. It might control things a little bit. I do really like the fact that you have like a captain card who earns like veterancy and can give you some extra bonuses. So, and those things are usually tied to cards that are a little bit less powerful, but then you get to bump up your, your captain. So that could be really interesting. He kind of also gives you some a starter to your set collection. And uh, like I got the octopus to kind of give you a boost. Uh, and then just the, the combos, the combos are quite fun. You know, being able to say like, okay, I play, if I play this one, I, this one, get let, you know, it lets me play that one. And that one lets me play this one. And this one lets me move my captain. My captain lets me play this one. And you can get some fun little chains going. Now, in terms of um, you know the AI, that's fine. Competing against human opponents, uh, it can uh, you know it's certainly fun when it happens. You know, a little bit deflating when your opponent locks into uh, the perfect hand full of combos and you have nothing than just one card, or one card. Uh, but even then, it's a short enough game that that kind of balances out. So I do think the combos can be a little swinging there. Um, I do like the additional set collections stuff, like the uh, the contract cards where, uh, you know, like if you have the most robots, you get five points or you get three for every three of these. Uh, that works out quite well um, and just gives you more things to go for. Do you want to go for a variety of sets for that sweet 15 point bonus or do you want to go deep and get five points for each third and beyond? So that's fun. Uh, the artwork uh, is clean. It's fine. It does reuse a lot. Uh, you know, all of the orange backgrounds are all the same. All the yellow backgrounds are the same. All of the bears are the exact same, except they have a different patch on their arm uh, and a different color suit. But otherwise, they are identical. Uh, it also, like, they definitely kind of made use of, you know, their design resources where they could. Uh, and that's fine. The game still is colorful. It's appealing. It's, you know, it's interesting to look at. Uh, you know, the robots only have a couple of varieties too. But there's a lot of cards. There's a lot of synergies. Uh, you know, because it is fairly light. And if you're looking for something with more depth, it's just not here. There hardly is any depth. You know, really. But it's still enough that it's just a, a light, fun, uh, you know, pretty easy to teach, easy to get into... Uh, you know, kind of engine building, set collection, card game. 
Now, as far as the solo goes, so the AI, uh, the AI is, um, I think it works quite well. You know, it scores in a simple way. Um, I think it, the fact that it gives you a little bit of choice over, over what it gets allows you to control that market a little bit. And I think if you get good at it, uh, that is going to be very impactful in, in how you win. Uh, you know, because you'll know which cards it's taking from the market a lot of the times. Sometimes not entirely, right? When it takes two cards from position, it's going to get one random one off the deck. You can't control that. But there is enough control that you can kind of say, okay, I don't need to get that card right now because he's not going to take it next turn. I can wait. Or, oh no, I don't want him to get those cards. You know, I should remove, you know, move him up on a different track to, to remove those, thereby hurting him or take them myself ahead of time. So that aspect of an AI is also very interesting uh, and is well done. So overall, you know, I do give this an approval. Uh, I think there are, you know, unfortunately, there are there are other games that do this better. I, uh, unfortunately, the worker placement part is not as engaging or fun as it could be, um, but it's still a fun game, and I and I wouldn't turn down uh, a play of it. You know, I uh, I still enjoyed it. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow. Uh, if you want to see more of these little engine building solo games, let me know. Or if there's other kinds of games you want to see, just like mention in the comments. Uh, or even like, what's your best space theme game? Uh, you know, I love to see space themed games. I, I know most people are more fans of fantasy, but space I quite enjoy. Um, you know, especially ones that fit in a nice little small box for solo. So thanks again for watching and uh, let's go ahead and take a minute and play some more games.